We're back here at Downtown Disney. Now we have an appointment to eat here at 12 o'clock. So we're gonna bebop around a little bit. So as we walk in the world to Disney, man, I didn't see this yesterday, but we have this sweater right here, $49.99. That shirt's pretty cool. I am digging that long sleeve shirt and look at those sweatpants. Now the sweatpants here are going to be $44.99. So what do you think about these new Nemos? I think they are very cool because of the clothes that you can see for the options. I think they look very cool and I think I'm gonna get one for this Christmas. Thanks, Dad. I do have hand sanitizer and I do wanna check that out. So let me sanitize my hands first. Now that I sanitized my hands, let's check this out, dude. So this is a Star Wars Mandalorian, The Legend Continues, I like this. It includes a notebook, a pen, a sticky note, and sticky tabs. So let's go ahead and open it up and check the inside. Ooh, dude, that is pretty sweet, dude. I am digging this. And this is gonna be $24.99. That's pretty cool. So now we're gonna put this back. Dude, I would for sure snag that one. Dude, these notebooks here are pretty rad. They remind me of like those old VHS freaking videos, dude. That's sick. So we have about an hour till our reservation is up. So let's go ahead, head off into Buena Vista Street real quick. It is early, man, and it is pretty crowded up in here. As you can see, the lines are already going over here and the lines are pretty racked out over there. So we're just gonna walk around the perimeter because we do have just a little bit, bit more time to kill. This is pretty rad, man. Last time we were here, you were not able to go past these boundaries. And if we look right there, dude, there is a churro cart. There might be a line for it, but I think it is well worth waiting in this line to go grab a churro. So it is a long line, but it is well worth it, man. And if we look right around us where the airplane is right down over there, I believe that's as far as we can go. Also like how they social distance right here. They have these little umbrellas that you stand underneath and their distance six feet apart. So smoke jumpers just opened up, man. I haven't eaten there in a while. Probably next trip we come here, we will for sure eat at some places here in Disney's California Adventure. How excited are you right now to have a churro? I'm very excited. I haven't had a churro since 2018. And that's legit. What shirt did you get from Walt Disney? I got this shirt that says, I'm just here for the snack. A Disneyland shirt with the words and rainbow. Stand here in line, man. You actually get a look at the detail that they did put in this rock work, man. That's pretty amazing. So one of the cool things is they do have seating here near Soaring and we got our churros. It's been a while since you guys had churros. How is it? It's good. Legitimately, we have not had a churro here at Disneyland or DCA since 2018. It's been a long time coming, man. And so that churro really hit the spot well. But one thing I really have always enjoyed is the small little details. One example, right behind me. Man, it's like where the smoke jumpers would keep all their gear. Man, look at that. Got that right there. Look, man, let me tell you, that churro is good. If you're a DCA man, definitely stop off right there. Get yourself a churro because it is for sure worth it. Last time we were here, you weren't able to go this far out. So this is really, really awesome. And I see a gate open over there. Oh, dude, look. Now this is the closest or anything we've ever seen of Avengers Campus, man. And it's right there, right there. So we can see Cars Land, that's as far as we can go here. But as we pan left, dude, look at that. We can see into Avengers Campus right there, dude. That is really awesome. I, I cannot wait for that to open. So it is good, man, to have DCA and Disneyland feeling like old times, man. In due time, folks, in due time, man, all the rides are gonna be open, everything be back to normal, man. Oh yeah, and here we are in the Hollywood backlight, dude, and Award Wieners is back open, man. Look at those, dude, apple pie funnel cake fries. Here at the Sunset Showcase Theater, they have a WandaVision experience, the world of WandaVision. We're gonna step out of line from going to see WandaVision because we need to get to our reservation 
at Tortilla Joe's, but we will be back here to go check out that WandaVision after lunch. And now it's time to grub at Tortilla Joe's. It's been a hot minute since we have eaten here. The first thing, take off this mask and dig in is some of these chips and salsa. Chips are nice and warm. And you know it's not a trip to Tia Joe's without some of the guacamole. Dude, that guacamole looks so delicious, huh? And it tastes delicious, Joe, I'm telling you. So prior to the pandemic, they used to bring the guacamole cart to you and they would make it fresh right in front of you. But you can still taste, man, how fresh this guac is. Dude, this guac is so fresh. And if you have never been here at Tortilla Joe's and tried this guacamole, man, you are missing out. Let me tell you, you're gonna have to come here and check out that guacamole because it might be the best guacamole that you have ever tried. True. Man, now look at these nachos right here, man. It is stacked with cheese, it is stacked with steak. Dude. Has some black beans on it too. Those nachos are good. If you are here at Downtown Disney, dude, and you are thinking about eating at Tortilla Joe's, you for sure eat here, dude, and get some of those nachos right there. Now, the rice and beans were really good, dude. As you can see, I demolished those. So one thing I am appreciating about these street tacos, it is a traditional style street taco where it's just the meat, onions, cilantro, and lime. That carne asada street taco is legit, man. Sometimes they say simplicity is the finest, and this is simple, and it is delicious, man. This time, let's throw some hot sauce in it and see what it tastes like with the hot sauce. So we got our food to go. If you've never eaten at Tortilla Joe's, definitely stop off, eat at that place. You will not be disappointed. Probably in next week or the week after that, we'll go ahead and we will head off to Naples and eat there because we've never eaten there before. So let's head back to Disney's California Adventure and check out the WandaVision thing they have here at the Sunset Showcase. So much. And here we go, man. I am really stoked about that. If you guys have not. And now we disrupt this channel to bring you WandaVision. If you guys have not seen the WandaVision show, dude, it is a great piece of cinematic, dude. And the editing on it is amazing. I just finished episode five this morning, man, and boom, bro, mind blown, man. And now we disrupt this channel to bring you WandaVision. So this whole WandaVision experience was really rad. And when you do exit it, you do have some merchandise right here. You have that WandaVision shirt. And if we go around to the other side, you have the Wanda and Vision 50s pop. And if you look down below, we do have Wanda Halloween and the Vision Halloween costume. And the Vision Halloween costume that you do see in the pop is gonna be right there. And that one is $36.99. Ooh, dude, look at this Avengers Endgame jacket, man. For 60 bucks, dude, that is pretty sick. I would for sure drop 60 bucks on that jacket right there. Dude, I am rarely spontaneous on buys, but this I had to get, dude. This was calling my name, and this Avengers jacket is pretty sick, man. So we're leaving DCA, man. If you have not checked out that WandaVision little setup they have in there, man, definitely go check it out. It is a pretty good setup, dude. Really good for Instagram and just regular photos. But it's time for us to check out and get out of here. But before we leave, we're gonna get some beignets. So it is busy, but I mean, the crowd levels here aren't insanely bad. I mean, you wait in these lines probably about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes tops. So here we are at the Jazz Kitchen Express, man. We have never tried the beignets here. So I think we might go 
with a large one for ten dollars and get six of them so we're already in line and let's get some beignets dude that looks so good look at that oh it smells so good in here he's got some fresh beignets going in that fryer right there dude mm, i cannot wait Ooh, look dude you can get some jambalaya and good stuff like that here also so we got our beignets man and we found this cool little spot right behind this outpost they have some seats we're right over here now let's go ahead and try one of those beignets that you have to shake it to make sure that every single one of the beignets get nicely coated so did pick up two sauces a chocolate one and a caramel one dude it's so warm look at that look at that beignet nicely covered and coated mm. <laughs> i highly recommend you going to jazz kitchen and getting some of those beignets man i don't know why i have never tried those beignets before dude but i will let you know every time we come back now i will be getting one of those beignets but check this out now that we are a little closer to this outpost we can see more details you can see these panels here and here man they have done some immense detail to this rainforest cafe and i am really excited to see what the inside is going to look like so we did not get a shake from black tap today but we will for sure do it next time we really appreciate every single one of you hanging out with us today man and we could not do this without you dude so thank you very much to every single one of you man. if you guys haven't subscribed and you're considering about subscribing man go down below hit that subscribe button dude smash that like and we will definitely see you next video. You guys have a great day. Deuces!